Hello, this is Nathaniel Frank, Regional Service Manager for Libri Plus. In today's video, we're going to discuss forcing an output for the purpose of testing MacVal functions. The ability to force an output enables you as the technician to have the module provide an output without the necessary input. The force feature is accessed using the multiplex display screen, Node 11. We'll be using the Packer Extend and Retract functions as our example for this diagnostic scenario. We'll begin by removing the MAC valve box cover. Once the cover is removed, we can see all the components inside, such as the main air pressure switch, the corresponding MAC valves on each of the valve banks, their individual connections, and you'll also notice the small hole in the center which can be depressed to override. By applying slight pressure to the override in the center of the MAC valve, we can force the valve to mechanically function. This enables us to test a function whether or not we have an electrical output. If a function is working, but not when we use the electronic driver, we can disconnect the connector and begin our diagnostics. Navigating the multiplex screen or Node 11 is simple. To press the menu button and select input output status. From there, we'll see all of the various modules in the multiplex system. We're going to select the hopper module or module 50. We're going to navigate over until we find the output that we're looking for. You can see the small description AO Packer Extend Coil. And now we'll depress the force button. This initiates a 14 second countdown, which provides you time to verify that no one is in the area of the item you're about to force. After the countdown, the word OK will pop up in the right hand corner. Depress the button below it and you'll notice that it says force active as well as an on and off button. Go ahead and force one of the functions on with a multimeter connected to the output for the MAC valve. If everything is functioning correctly, you should see an output from the module between 12 and 13 volts. Turning the output off should leave the output at 0 volts. You can utilize these techniques across a multitude of outputs for the Libri Multiplex system. Thank you for watching this Libri how-to video.